Really? No, not really. All right, so here's the thing. First off, uh, how many of you have heard me come up here before? Woo! Woo! That's a sizable crowd. Go me. <laughs> now, as most of you know, somewhere in the next 10 to 15 minutes, you will be inconvenienced. You will be offended. So tonight, I brought my mom. I want to hear an applause for that. That's right. The whole six of you and two of you are here. There we go. All right, now, do any of you know what day it is? Wednesday. Wednesday. Aside from Wednesday, it is... I got five minutes? All right, I got five minutes. Ten minutes. You know what? It's five minutes now. I don't care what the clocks say. <laughs> Your sister's birthday. Right. So right now, it's my sister's birthday. Another round of applause, please. Boy, that gets weaker every time I try to use that superpower. Yeah, um, stop. No. That's another thing, by the way. Do you know what the difference between a superhero and a supervillain is? Yes. No, you don't. Shut up. <laughs> the difference is that a supervillain has a student loan to pay back. I don't know if you've ever looked at it, but it's always doctor something. Doctor this, doctor that, when you're an evil thing. Right? But you go superhero, and apparently you join the military because you're a captain instantly. Nothing. Nothing from you people? All right. All right. So I don't know if you guys have noticed, but Angry Birds are everywhere. I'd be pretty pissed off too if I lived outside. But aside from that, I mean that if you walk through Walmart, you will see Angry Birds on shit they don't belong on. They're on t-shirts. They're on toothbrushes. Right? And I gotta tell you, I feel a little bad about that. Like, I feel like I need to get rid of my toothbrush. Because my toothbrush has Angry Birds on it. I don't know why I taped them there, but I did. <laughs> on an unrelated note, we've also realized that Edward Forty Hands is not allowed to make any more decisions. What? Edward Forty Hands, really? Go look up drinking games right now. You have a phone, dude. It's when you take it's when you tape two forties to your hands. I know. You I'm have to drink them. Them. Oh. <laughs> okay, go to the other one. Go to the other one. All right. Now, I work for Pizza Hut, which is a really shitty job, as I'm sure most of you can guess. And that leads me to think about other jobs, right? And I feel really bad for the dudes who film on the set of, like, zoo porn, right? It's got to be really hard to hold that camera and not fat. I also feel bad for bus drivers, for the same reason. Nobody even went, oh, nobody's listening to this. This is sad. Can you people hear me? I know, it's a terrible joke, but you're supposed to be offended. Just go with me. No? No, I lost you this week. All right. All right. It was the mom thing. I, I, I jinxed no, you. No, no, you got no, applause. No, I jinxed you. You got, got applause. It. All right, no, all right. I did it. My fault. At least I don't have Fat Albert. Tell a sad story. A sad story? <laughs> yeah, all right. Fat Albert is better. So, I had this girlfriend. All right, now here's the thing. Valentine's Day is coming up, all right? And those of you who are not offended the next 10 to 15 minutes that are female and single, make a line right here. We'll get to know each other later. Secondly, I used to have a girlfriend. I know, you're shocked. And she got angry at me earlier in the day because I didn't defend her in an argument. And the way she decided to show me that she was upset by this was that she punched me in the face. So when I woke up, I decided she could defend herself. <laughs> this is the same chick who, I mean, this, I was with this girl for years, years, and she messed me up hardcore. And you don't realize that you're messed up from a terrible relationship until you're out, and you're sitting in chilies, right? And somebody says the word spinach artichoke dip, which is somehow magically turned into your trigger word. You feel like throwing tables around and beating people. That is the kind of crazy that a terrible relationship puts on you. Nothing. Nothing. I've lost everybody this week. It's terrible. I don't know why you're letting me continue. You must save me. That's another thing, people. I like to learn one new thing a day, alright? And today I learned, because my mom pointed it out, that ukulele Russ makes a duck face when he goes, whoa. Yes. <laughs> the right? The next time he does it, watch. I don't even have Russ's attention and I'm talking about it. Holy crap. 
I've lost all of you this week. This is terrible. I'm sorry. Hey, if you would just... You know what? Another thing I realized today, by the way, Russ, is that I've never seen you in a t-shirt before, and your arms are, like, massive. I am so impressed right now. I can hardly contain it. The, I can't grow a beard. You've no idea how terrible that is. Like this, what you see right now is me trying to grow a beard, Russ. This is it. I will never be your backup dancer. Or singer. I don't dance either, by the way. It looks like this. No, you gotta do that louder. No. Like, get the, get on this microphone, Lynn. No. I will do it. I will strip no. right now. Lynn, come here. No. Lynn. Nope. Lynn, what? Nope. No. No. Mom's here. You can't strip. No. Not I, can, I do it. No. That's it. I have a challenge. No. She's gonna come over and go, no. Oops. 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 That's all I need. Do it yourself. I can't. I can't hold the microphone and strip. If you were skilled, you could. No. Yeah. No, she's, not doing She's it. got a point. I need, I need a partner. No. It's, I'm not stripping alone. I mean, I'll strip alone, but I need somebody else up here. You are all so bored. I'm sorry. I'm not bored. Robin, are you guys ready yet? All right. I'm going to let you guys go. This has been a terrible night. Thanks for not killing me.